Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. That little guy is Popeye, and we are the RC Sailors. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at the SkyTech TK-106 drone. Popeye, up close and personal, buddy. Yeah? What do you think, huh? He's so happy right now. <laughs> Alright, we, uh, we got this on lietake.com. It was about $35. The prices do change regularly on these sites. Things go on sale and stuff. So if you want to check it out for yourself, just click the link in the description box below. And let's take a closer look at this. I do notice that uh, the quality of the box of this one is really nice with all the foam padding and stuff. I did notice one nice standout feature already about this quadcopter is the box, the packaging. It, it's a really nice box with all this crazy foam padding. That's a step above and beyond for this price point. So I'm really interested to see how the quadcopter actually flies because maybe they spent too much money on the, the impressing box. me with the box. <laughs> Four gigabyte micro SD card. That's great plus. that it comes with that actually. That's really good. You got your card converter USB so you can put your memory card in the back, Huge plug bonus. it in and transfer your stuff. Some of these guys are not including that now so I like that they include it. It looks like a nice quadcopter. That's pretty sturdy. It's heavy little thing. It looks nice. The plastic and everything it looks really nice. has an on off switch in the back. Their micro SD reader. Battery sure is stuffed in there. Let's see. How does this work? Oh man. Take the phone I feel out? like if I took that out we may never get it back in. Hey, but we're taking it out. <laughs> a lot of good stuff in here. This is a 220 milliamp 3.7 volt battery. Uh -huh. The camera looks pretty nice on it. It is tilted down already. It does not tilt back. No control. No That's control. okay. Looks like a very nice transmitter. It's a little nicer than your average one. It Nothing also has a uh, USB port on the bottom, so I'm guessing you can charge your quad from your transmitter if you want Ooh, to. Neat. Very nice added bonus, something that you don't have to do because it looks like it comes with a charger. You can just use regular USB. I'm not dumping all this out. Whoa. You got a screwdriver, your USB charger, you got landing gear and prop guards. Four spare props in here and a separate little baggie. I like this piece. I think so I'm going to keep this piece. I'm very impressed by all of this their, their packaging their appearance the first impression that i get is awesome. of great quality i so. like the sparkly sky tech <laughs> this is nice this is actually really nice i'm excited for the price. to fly this one it says mini right on it mini quadcopter if you're just tuning in for this video and you haven't seen our channel feeling. we are doing all week long quadcopters under 50 dollars. so it's kind of a budget week of quadcopters so if you want to check out what other uh, quads we've looked at be sure to uh, subscribe check it out in the description box we've got all kinds of goodies going on uh, next step for this now is going to be to charge the battery and get it in the air and fly it so we'll see you guys outside we've made it outside with charged batteries and I had to point out before I take off how cool does this little guy look with the landing gear and the prop guards I mean how how much is that like a DJI Phantom wannabe little little guy. I mean that just something about that stood out to me So I had to put all that stuff on and they all just snapped on they're very easy to install So with the charged battery and everything Equipped on here. I am going to take off and we're going to fly this. I've got high hopes for it. It looks pretty cool uh, Let's see how it does. Let's turn it by the way. You need four double A's for your transmitter. That's not bad at all Big big fan of that. So let's take off two things that I already really like the little thumb first of all it's a full-size transmitter which is really great it feels great in my hands and it's a uh, it's got these rubber really nice rubbery grippy here on the thumbsticks so it feels really good while flying and then the quad itself has an on-off switch right in the back so up down there we go we got it the down button is for video okay there we go we're in the air Popeye says, I am not a fan, but look at it. It looks like the uh, uh, thing that landed on the moon. What was, the, what was that called, Abby? A rover? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just looks like uh, those landing gear are kind of long and they look funny, but it's, it's pretty neat. So let's try higher rate. The top right trigger is to go in a higher rate. Flying around really well. Wow. Wow. I'll bet with the prop guards off and the landing gear, 
Uh, I'll fly lower so it's easier to film. I'll bet with the prop guards and the landing gear off, I'd say it would fly ridiculously well, like uh, agile. Let's let's test the all. You ready? This is nice and fast. Wow. And now, so it has a high and a low. That's all. Just a high and a low. There's not three rates. Need the high to fly in this slight breeze here. Let's try a flip. Look at that. Did you get that? Yep. Great flip. Nice and tight little flip. Let's see. Another little flip. Hey, that's really good little quadcopter for that. Okay. Let's get it out here and fly it around. Now the reason Abby's probably got a few shots of getting a canopy from our swing in the shot, maybe. You might have seen a couple little glimpses of it like when I fly up like that. It's because it's really no, bright out here. I am good at what I do. Okay, well we, we can't really see. I just can't breathe. <laughs> we can't really see today because it's so bright out. So we had to kind of sit in the shade of our swing to do the filming here. Look how fast I can get it to go though, Abby. That is fast. Ready? That's into the wind. And then with the wind, it's like, hey, Whoa. wow. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I'm in the grass. Let me go get him. I stopped filming after that little crash. I just hit stop just so it would, uh, I just wanted to make sure it would save. But I, I don't really like that the camera is angled down at like a 45 degree angle. That's pretty steep down. So you have to be hovering really level for it to actually capture anything. It is very fast. I mean, this is, this is fun. I'm sitting here in the shade on a nice summer day. I'm just flying this guy around the backyard and I can just zip it around if I want to. I got prop guards on there protecting everything. Landing gear protecting my camera. Easy to see. Good size. It's not like the smallest quadcopter we've ever had, but it's a good size to just fly it around like that. I'll try a picture while we're flying. How's that? Oh, that's probably just the grass. Oh, man. Yeah, pretty good recovery. That's nice. I'll tell you, it's bright out today, isn't it? Yeah. Something else that's really nice about this little guy is it did come with its own memory card and memory card converter to USB for your computer. So you don't have to go out and find a memory card and it, it's all with it. The only thing you have to provide to get this in the air is four AA batteries. And let's be honest, you probably want to provide those anyway, because if they did, they'd just be really cheap alkaline batteries that like, would only last for a couple flights anyway. I got some serious wind picking up here, and it's flying in it okay. Not like a drone racer or anything, but it's, it's, holding, it's holding its own. It's cutting through it. When it flies with the wind, it, it goes yeah, it's too crazy. fast almost. So I really like this. I really like how it flies. No, no major complaints. It would, I think it would fly a lot better without the landing gear and the prop guards, to be honest. Let me try another flip here. Let's see, where's this button? Oh! Let's see if I can take off from that. Nope. Alright, poor Abby's suffering from allergies here. Uh, but she's going to try to fly it. See what she does. It's kind of snappy. Mmm! Okay. okay, let's try again there, Abby. Okay, that's really weird. Every time, every time I'm out here and she's flying it, Papa barks a lot. But when uh, we're just chilling there together, he doesn't. Here, just take off like that. See, the yaw in rate two is pretty snappy. You got it. Very yeah, yeah. When the battery gets a little low, all that extra weight from the landing gear and the prop guards, it's hard to recover from a, a, an elevation loss. Man. Oh, I just stepped in dead yeah, poop. Like it it. It's because of all the extra weight. Now, I've had people on the channel, they'll comment and they'll ask, Nate, you know, they give you prop guards, they give you landing gear, why don't you use it? Because I don't... It doesn't fly as well. That's right. That's right. I don't like to use it as much because it helps, it weighs it down. It just weighs it, it down. pop off. They do. Okay, very easily, I just pulled off the landing gear and the prop guards, set them off to the side. We're going to see how she does. 
but I like how that looks a lot better. I can tell it's flying better, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. No, Popeye. <laughs> That'll hurt you. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, I, I like I like how that looks more without the landing gear and the prop guards. It looks really cool. Very cool. A lot snappier. I feel like I gotta try this. Yeah? I like that a lot. So those of you that want to know why we take those off, they always fly way, 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 way better without them. Whoa! <laughs> Almost like a drone racer. Popeye. I wanna get that. I wanna get that. I wanna get it. That's why we think Popeye's been gaining some weight because oh. he hasn't been chasing many quadcopters lately. No. Uh -oh. Done. Family photo right here. Well, poor Abby. This is probably gonna be the last thing we get into outside today because she's sniffling up really bad. But overall, I do really like this. I, I say this would be a great one to add to your collection. Hoping the camera quality is pretty good because it comes with everything you need to get it in the air, except for those batteries. And I wanted to show you guys how this looked because it's such a unique, easy little setup on the landing gear and the prop guards. But as we showed you, it flies better, it's quicker. You, you're gonna get a longer flight, better flight and everything with that stuff off of there. And uh, you know, a lot of you guys do ask, why do I take those off? Well, well, that's why. You get a longer flight. It's more agile. It's just more fun, I think. These instructions are nice. And while I'd recommend you hold on to them, they did not tell you how to use the camera. Um, the left side, where you have throttle and yaw, you've got these trim buttons. The left and right is yaw trim, but the up button is to take a picture. It's a slow delay. It's like a five second delay to take a picture. And then you press down and it'll do video. So keep that in mind. Uh, everything else works just like the instructions say though. The top right trigger here on the corner, that is for your high and low speed or the rates. So if you wanna fly more docile, you press that. Or if you wanna fly agility kind of mode, uh, and I don't mean my 3D mode. Press it again and you have higher rates. And then the top left button here is to flip. So if you want to do flips, you press that guy and you give it a direction and it'll do a flip. Things that I really like about this is that you can charge from the transmitter. That's really nice. Not very many of them do that. It's got the gummy grips and uh, it's just a really nice transmitter overall. The quadcopter itself is really sleek in design. It just looks good. You've got a battery hatch, an on-off switch, a nice place for your memory card that it comes with. And of course, I love the box that came with it. It's a really cool box. Extra props and everything that you need to get in the air. So this would be a great beginner quadcopter because it'd be easy to step up to taking those prop guards off. They just kind of snap on and then they snap off very easily. All week long on our channel, we are doing uh, budget quadcopters under $50. This is the middle of those reviews. If you've enjoyed what we do, then consider supporting our channel. In all of our videos, we have in the description box below, a nice little, uh, always have a link for you guys to find whatever we're talking about. And then below that, we have ways that you can support our channel. So if you're just here because you want to bu possibly buy this and check it out for yourself, that's fine. Click that link, go buy a nice quadcopter and have some fun. But if you've stuck around and we've ever helped you save money or you just get entertainment out of our channel, then we're asking you this week, maybe uh, support us in one of those options below. If you don't have any money or anything, just follow our vlog channel. It's linked down below. We have shirts for sale, fan funding, all great ways to help support what we do. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video.